When Mrs. Teo is 31 years old, the daughter is 7 years old. They give you directly the age of the two of them. When they did not mention whether is it now, the, the age is this, or present age is this, or they did not mention that in how many years time it is this, we usually say that the question here is for present age. So, now, Mrs. Teo is 31 years old, daughter is 7 years old. Okay? Next. In how many years time? So, they are asking for the future already. How many years time? She. That means the she here representing Mrs. Teo. Right? She will be twice as old as the daughter. So, if we talk about twice as old, Okay, looking at the future, for Mrs. Teo, how many units should she be? Three. So we draw three units. And then for the daughter, how many units? One. One. So this is based on the future. But remember, whenever we have age question, our focus is on the difference here. Right? So how do we get the difference? Please remember, difference will not change, right? Yeah. So in the first line, we have Mrs. Steel being 31, the daughter being 7. So we can actually go and find the difference in the age. So the difference between the two of them, 31 minus 7, you get 24. Alright? So in other words, these two units that you are seeing will actually be the 24. Okay? So if two units is 24, what do we have now? represents the daughter age in future. But the daughter's age now is 12. 12 is for future. Now is 7. So how many years time? 5. Okay. So we take the future age to minus the current age. So in five years time, we will have this Mrs. Teo being three times of the daughter. But you can always check your answer in terms of if you take Mrs. Teo 31, right? Plus 5. You will get 36. 36 if you divide by 3, you get 12, which is the age of the daughter, right? So this means that your answer of the five here is actually correct. Oh, okay.